Hi, I'm Amelia Cardenas. And today I will be showing you how to make a yogurt parfait. During my freshman year of college, I began to have hour long episodes of acid reflux. I was eventually diagnosed with GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease. Through thorough research with my doctor and gastroenterologist, I had to learn several recipes that would help me control my illness. One of these is yogurt parfait, which I now eat for breakfast almost every day. On slide two, you will see a graphic from Cleveland Clinic of gastroesophageal reflux disease. So the first step is going to be to gather your materials. You're going to need a bowl and a utensil. I like to choose a ceramic or plastic bowl over more delicate ones because I live in a college apartment and it's just more practical. On slide three, you will see an example of a ceramic bowl. Journalist Bridget Early from the Spruce Eats wrote in 2021 that ceramic bowls were some of the best bowls for breakfast. So now on to the second step, we're gonna add the yogurt. So you can pick whatever yogurt you want, but I like to choose a Greek yogurt. This one is from Aldi's. And on slide four, you will see a picture of Greek yogurt. And Medical News Today released an article by Lana Burgess in 2018 of the benefits of Greek yogurt such as the probiotics, the protein, and several other nutritional benefits. This is what makes yogurt parfait such a great breakfast for people with my condition. So now that I've added the yogurt, I'm gonna close the yogurt. Isadora Baum wrote an article for Bustle in 2019 about foods that are good for acid reflux and at the top was yogurt parfait. Okay, so next we're gonna add toppings, which is our third step. So I like to add granola. And some fruit, such as blueberries. And some strawberries. On slide five of the PowerPoint, you will see an example of some toppings that you can put on your yogurt parfait. That picture is from Stanford Health and it was written in 2022. Okay, I'm just gonna put another strawberry in. Organicfacts.net released an article about the benefits of eating granola on a yogurt parfait. And this way you can get in several different food groups in just your breakfast because you can eat protein, dairy, fruits, and grains. And Sanford Health released an article about the benefits of a yogurt parfait. So on slide six, you will see a picture of what a parfait should look like from feelgoodfoodie.net. And this is what mine looks like. Um, doesn't really look like the one on slide six, but it's similar. And so does anybody have any questions? Um, yeah, I was wondering what's the difference between what you have GERD and just the regular kind of acid reflux? So acid reflux tends to be a lot shorter and less frequent, whereas GERD is a chronic illness that happens for several hours long and people usually have to medicate with the kind of stuff you can't get over the counter like regular antacids and all of that. Any more questions? Um, I was just wondering, so like if I don't like granola, can I substitute it with anything else? Um, yeah, you can put cornflakes or your cereal if you're looking for that crunchy texture or you can just skip the granola all together. If you don't really like granola, you can just put fruit, you can put peanut butter, anything like that. I have a question. Is yeah. GERD something that's genetic? Um, I believe it can be genetic because acid reflux is genetic, but not always. Anybody else? Wait, I do have one more question. Um, how, do I just like get diagnosed with it? Or like, do I have to go to the doctors to get it checked? 
Yeah, so first I went to like my primary care physician and then they thought I had it. So then he referred me to a gastroenterologist and they did like an endoscop endoscopy and all of that. And yeah, they found out I do have it. Um, I have another question. Yes. What is an alternative for those who are lactose intolerant? So actually Greek yogurt doesn't contain much lactose due to the probiotics, but you can also have almond yogurt or coconut yogurt or any of the other dairy alternative yogurts on the market. Anything else? <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you.